Dr. Chris Nickel is deeply committed to his work Hi, Sean. Hello. and the community of Camrose. His family practice is located here at the Smith Clinic. He's dedicated to giving his patients the highest level of care and in return is well liked. My daughter is 21 and she, um, Dr. Nickel was her doctor when she was three and she used to call him her diamond. <laughs> Dr. Nickel is my diamond. <laughs> the diamond has also earned the greatest respect from those he works alongside. He really does celebrate other people around him and make them feel good about their job. He never gets upset if I go up and I say, oh my gosh, this patient is just driving me nuts or something. And he just, okay, well, what can we do? When Over at St. Mary's Hospital, you can find him treating people in emergency or on a unit visiting one of his patients. Like his clinic, okay. those he works with here sing his praises. He is the kind of physician that uh, makes the staff around him want to be better. He treats all of the staff, um, whether we're unit clerks or our ends, um, with great respect. I think everybody needs a Dr. Nickel in their life. I have a lot of fun at what I do. I have a lot of fun with my job, and I just think that that's part of it. Oh, committed, dedicated, uh, very dry sense of humor. Carol was instrumental in helping Dr. Nickel turn his brainchild, Young Medical Minds, into a reality. Obviously Stan's not going to tell us about his injuries, so we need to be able to see Stan. So I'm going to ask you two to cut his clothes off. Okay, there's some scissors up there. Leave his underwear on though, okay? We have to maintain some dignity. It's a program that introduces grade 8 students to medicine. You get to have hands-on experience with things that you would normally not be able to do at the age that you're in. Dr. Nickel was enrolled in a similar science program when he was in high school. One of the things I remember most actually is playing with liquid nitrogen and, and the staff here just think I'm crazy because I still like to play with my liquid nitrogen. His list of contributions to the Camrose community almost seems endless. He played an important role in making St. Mary's Hospital a rural stroke center, serving patients from across central Alberta. He's always been our mentor for the Heart and Stroke Clinic. You're getting some of the best stroke care that you can in all the world, right here in small town Alberta. Dr. Nickel has also been an integral part of setting up the Camrose Primary Care Network and currently serves as its lead physician. It's been a real uh, privilege of mine to see him in action in the community and uh, just his ability to sort of be that, that PCN champion that we need. The Big Valley Jamboree Music Festival is held every summer in Camrose. Dr. Nickel worked with the Canadian College of Emergency Medical Services to establish and service an on-site hospital during the four-day event. I couldn't think of anybody more deserving of the award, you know, in terms of the hours of dedication and the, the selflessness he's shown to our festival. Hi, Jackie. Hi. He taught a program for junior high students that discourages drinking and driving and participates on numerous boards and committees. I'm not sure when he sleeps. <laughs> you know, he's, he's uh, very passionate with the things that he does. Chris has always had a love for music. Back in high school, he played trumpet in the band, and that's where he met the love of his life. I've always enjoyed band. Um, I met my wife in band. He was my very first boyfriend. That's Susan across the room playing the trombone. They both played with the Camrose Community Band since Chris first convinced Susan to leave Vancouver and come to Camrose. That was 21 years ago. We got married and he talked about doing rural medicine and I knew it was something that he was very interested in. And I thought, well, maybe I could do it if it's not too far away from a Walmart. As luck would have it, there was a Walmart about 20 minutes away in Wetaskiwin. Four years later, a Walmart was built in Camrose, and Susan was happy ever after. It's enchilada night at the Nickel residence. Their two children, Hannah, 16, and Chad, 14, are there to join them. Turns out, it's not a place for those who are faint of heart. You hear a lot of surgery things while you're eating. <laughs> 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 
Chris's musical influence on his children is obvious. Hannah plays the piano and clarinet and also sings. Like his dad, Chad plays trumpet and is also planning for a career in healthcare. When I was young, he used to take me to the hospital early in the morning. I would be up watching TV and I would be like, hey, you want to come to the hospital? I'd be like, yeah. That was so cool growing up. His colleagues, community leaders, and family have the greatest respect for Dr. Nichols' work in enhancing care in the area and for his many accomplishments in making the Camrose region Certainly a better, place, better place, place for all. His efforts stand out because not only is he devoting his full time to his career, his chosen career, he's also finding time to commit to other activities for the betterment of the, the community in general. You know, it's great to be recognized for uh, things that you do, but certainly this, this is not my award. And the doctor will be in just shortly. Thank you. I work with a bunch of great people and, and great teams, and without those great teams, you know, no one would recognize the work that I do. Dr. Nicole, congratulations. Well earned. You're very deserving, and it's a great honor to be working with you. On behalf of Big Valley Jamboree and the 90-some thousand people every year that come through the gates and can always rely on you to get stitched or bandaged up, so thank you very much. Congratulations on winning this award and on behalf of the entire Primary Care Network team, we are so proud of you. Congratulations Dr. Nickel, you've done a great job and keep up the good work. On behalf of Unit 2 and myself, I just really want you to know how proud we are that you are part of our team. St. Mary's is very, very, very proud of you. And thank you for all you've done and all I know you'll continue to do. And we're so happy that you're being recognized in this way. Congratulations. I hope that uh, you feel celebrated by this award because it's congratulating some, someone very special. Very glad you won and I think you deserve it 100%. Congratulations, Dad, I'm proud of you. Hi, Chris, congratulations on your wonderful award. We're very, very proud of you, you deserve it. Love you. Congratulations to Dr. Chris Nickel, our 2017 Physician Award recipient.